stand by, stand by. All right, that's right, we're out here, uh, Matt. We are here on Airport Boulevard, and you can see we're looking right now down on the uh, the westbound, excuse me, the eastbound lane of Airport Boulevard. Down the road there, you can see some traffic uh, off to the side of the road. It is literally like a river out here. Uh, these are areas that you don't typically think would flood, and you can see uh, right out here, Andy, I'm going to get you to pan out just a little bit. You can see all the way across, all lanes of traffic here on all lanes of traffic here uh, blocked, and let's look at this car right here, Andy. If you can come over here and see this car, this car just pulled up into the median, uh, thinking that it's impassable to come through here, and it definitely is. It's, this is not safe driving conditions at all. If you, if you do not have to be in it, be advised. Please do not get in the, uh, the, the, the water. You can see the cars down there, very far down, up to the headlights, the water coming up to the hood of the car and uh, the car is just driving through. You can see the exhaust coming through uh, from, from several cars. Definitely not some, some type of weather you want to be in. These are roads that don't typically flood um, and, and because we've had so much rain, the rainwater has not had anywhere to go. You can see this car coming up here and you can see the waves that this car will make as it comes by. Actually, I think it's going to pull off to the side here. And uh, you can see just how much rainwater is out here. And uh, we've got one driver driving by here. What's, what's this like for you? Uh, it's intense. It's intense? Talk to me. What, uh, how long have you been out in this? I'm just trying to get home. I still have to work. I work at Bonefish. So uh, I've been out probably about 20 minutes trying to get home. What do, well, what do you think about that? I mean, this, this weather, it, we, don't, we don't typically see these roads flood like this. No, this is, uh, this is honestly ridiculous. The city needs to do something about you know, getting the drainage better. All right. Sure. Hey, we appreciate you talking to us. <laughs> no Thank problem. you so much. Be careful going home. Have a good night. Thank you very much. So that's the scene that you see here on Airport Boulevard right now, and it is definitely, like we said, not the type of uh, the, the weather you want to be in. Houses here on, on my left on the, uh, the westbound side, Andy, if you can come over here and show the water on all lanes of traffic here on all lanes of Airport Boulevard is completely covered up to the front porches of some of these houses. This is an extensive amount of rainfall that we're seeing here, like we said, in areas that don't typically flood. I mean, we might see a few puddles here and there during our summertime showers, but this is definitely something that we don't see very commonly. So, uh, if, like we said, we've been stressing the fact if you don't have to be out here, emergency personnel have been rescuing people who have been in traffic. They have been uh, pulling up onto the roadways, onto the sides of roadways with their flashers on and uh, getting out of their cars and waiting for any kind of personnel, emergency personnel, to come and rescue them. So it's, it's, a, it's a dangerous situation to be driving in. Like we said, if you don't have to be in it, please be advised not to. Bob, Lanise. All right, thank you, Michael. And again, Michael was reporting this.